Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 137 of Mini Trucking Magazine, May 2003. We got Devin Morgan's Mosbury Delight, killer rolling shot on the cover. This was shot right after Resolutions 2003, which is December 02 into January 03. That was the Sever 10th anniversary. I got to see this truck in person. Wes Allison's 40th credited mini truck and magazine cover. And again, this was shot um, the few days after Rezo. When we had Devin on the podcast, he talked about uh, basically meeting up, you know, driving away from where Rezo was at and actually doing uh, this shoot. So I'm glad I got to see it. Uh, something that's unique is I do believe this is the first issue where they transition from the stick on labels for subscription uh you know for subs uh to the print on so i did uh double check and the last one was stuck on this is printed on now i don't know if they ever transitioned back i don't think so but i did want to mention that also devin lived in duncan british columbia canada so this was basically another international cover uh at the end, I'll talk about how many cover trucks to this point had Colorado Custom Wheels, but that's enough lead-in. Let's jump right in. This is a cool issue, uh, one of my favorite cover trucks, and there's another famous truck towards the back that is featured that we'll see a little bit later on on the cover. We can see here a couple of the trucks, table of contents. So MPG, so what mileage does your mini truck get? Lance talks about the reliability of mini trucks as well as uh, good gas mileage, which definitely is a win-win. If you like what we're doing here, leave a comment. Even if it's just an emoji, thumbs up. It definitely helps the page, and uh, we appreciate it. Watch these all the way through if you can. Here's Dragon the Plains, or also known as DTP-1, and uh, you've got... The Subculture Tacoma, I think. Auto Art by Decade across the front windshield. This awesome hard body, topless, with another rear three-quarter photo here. There's the mini truck and sticker on the famous graveyard where the cars are stuck in the ground. Still have never made it to that. Still repping Topper Gang. It's crazy how toppers were super popular. And I'd say they faded a little bit, but uh, they're back. They're back better than ever, bigger than ever, and they're harder than ever to find one with windows like that. That's for sure. Are you hyper? So this was a grounding system install. Grounds can be a, definitely a pain on any vehicle, especially older ones. So kind of a cool tech article. Uh, here they talk about um, in paper cuts, you know, are you going to talk about project trucks? And they, they mention how they had the under construction cover, which was pretty unique. You know how we do it, those famous Ice Cube lyrics, Life in the Fat Lane, of course, Finnegan talking about a crazy adventure, no doubt. Here is Damon Springer, unfinished business, a 9 foe S10, super clean truck. Uh, always been a fan of these, you know, earlier year uh, round bodies and, um, just the simplicity of them in many ways, the dashes, the engines, and all that setup. Super clean truck. You can see there the bed treatment, full blown. Pretty basic front ends, which I always liked. You know, just the smooth bumper, the valence had that little bit of a texture to it. Uh, the headlights were sunk in. You know, they weren't like the Blazer composite lights. Uh, and then check out the engine bay. Super clean. I had the same engine in my nine foe watered down s10 and uh it got me everywhere i needed to go here's riding around with a couple of uh two page two pages of colored rides devious methods i think today at the time of this recording is jeff's birthday born day happy born day to jeff at devious customs i got a chance to stay with him last year in september 2022 do the shop tour check out the crib Longtime friend, hardcore mini trucker, building all kinds of cool stuff. Here is R E S P E C T, respect. You better respect and eyes. 
and Wes Allison, the big foe O. And when we had Devin on, Devin, um, I believe Ruben helped book that, aka the booker. And uh, we had Devin on the podcast and we talked extensively about this truck. This thing is insane. Uh, we all know it kind of is Mosbury Delight, um, but it's titled Respect. And uh, it's a 90 Mazda B2200, one of the baddest built. And you can see the Canada tag here, lowest. It's got the Colorado Custom Wheels on it. One of the only times I can remember that you'll see just one truck at the end in graffiti, and it's this truck. I'll try to find a link to that episode and put it in the show description as well. I'd like to do that when I can. Uh, but topless, and you can just see all the work that went into this thing on hydros with the rear kind of hatch cover. So cool, very different. Awesome taillight treatment, you know, with that rear seat in it. Now, Devin still owns this truck, and I know that he's toyed around in comments before about selling it. I don't know that he would, but um, I know it's been sitting a little while. But, dude, when you look at this interior with the dash and all of the work that's in it, it's such a timeless truck. Really could come out now and just really kick up some dust. But yeah, he came down for Rezo that year, and I did take a good bit of photos on film, pre-digital. And uh, this truck is just amazing. Here is a little prelude to the graffiti. Again, Wes Allison shot this, and it's an awesome truck. I love the color contrast under the hood, the front tilt hood, of course. But you got some of that um, pinkish... Um, you know, color in there, along with the blue and silver, is just fire. So, awesome truck, awesome cover truck. Here is the Nopi Nationals. Here's the cover truck we just saw. Could have linked up with him at this show, as we've kind of talked about. Sometimes that'll give you a hint um, at where it was shot. And you can see, again, left is color, black and white. And then onto this page, here's the Isuzu with the door handle way down here. Mazda. Look at that. One, two, three Explorers. You can't say that they didn't, nobody built an Explorer. Mike Hill's not the only one. Damn it. Raylan Ranger. Nate Hasovec, 95 Ford Ranger. Twisted Concepts, clean truck. Again, you can see the background, how the art department was really kind of stepping up. Uh, check out OLP via any podcast app. Uh, most of the episodes do also batch to YouTube. Typically, so here, once in a blue moon, they'll fall out and they drop off. But uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, those are the main apps. Jason Th uh, Thorpe, T-O-R-P, 96, hard body, relaxed atmosphere. This was shot by Justin Cross. We'd see his name a little bit. This is a very cool feature to me. Front passenger three-quarter shot. Uh, killer sunset um, with this paint job is awesome. And then you've got the write-up with the wraparound, the uh, steering wheel kind of dash, tweed dash insert photo there. Super clean truck, group therapy, and plenty of tweed. Tweed for days, all the graphics and the door jams, including the sides of the seat deals, the plastics. Painted tank. Look how small compressors were in that era. Um, we're fortunate to have the compressors we have now that are just so efficient, so quiet. Uh, the Vire compressors on my Lincoln, you can't even really hear them. And I don't have the super quiet ones either. When they're in the trunk and they're on, I can barely hear them. Here's third annual Oktoberfest. And this was at California Motor Speedway, which when I was out in Cali, I was actually right by this. And um, I knew I was by the Speedway, but I think Ruben had pointed out there's Steel Flame. There's the famous Yoda Blazer. Don't call it a Blazer. Um, Ruben was like, yeah, that's where the show was at right there. 
Uh, here is Sweet Tacoma. I think when we had Rob Maggion from MIC, he talked about um, sponsoring the show one or multiple years. And you can see there's the MIC. Rob loves skateboarding and all kinds of cool stuff. And again, uh, that's just a little insight to all of the awesome people that we've had on. You know, we've had people from everyday ordinary people all the way to legends like a Rob Maggi guy that uh, owned Master Image Customs that spent tons and tons of money on advertising in this magazine. Thrash Session MT's compressor test. So Mini Trucking uh, does a compressor test. And again, as I said recently, kind of Vire's the only main name that most of us know because they're the best in the business. But they also uh, venture into the Oasis. I don't think that those are made anymore. These are kind of hard to come by. But those things were mean machines. Had an opportunity to buy one one time, and I wish I would have. Uh, Pebble Pushers. This is Alan Johnston. 94 Toyota Extra Cab, super clean truck. Again, shout out to Pebble Pushers. These dudes uh, build some serious trucks they have for many, many years. Serious hardcore dudes. Look at that. Fire. Super, always super low stuff. And uh, this Toyota Extra Cab is no exception. Dragon by on the plate. The KMCs. Uh, we've said this before, uh, those are the ALFs, but I do believe that, you know, wheels like this are getting harder to find. It's too bad that wheel manufacturers don't try to tap into some of the nostalgia. Hey, Mr. DJ, keep playing that song all night long. You know that song? Well, this is titled Hey, Mr. DJ. This is the Oliver Porter from Domination. This truck will go on later to grace the cover in a totally different color. How ironic is this? I was looking at this and I remembered uh, Drew Brothers Customs and I remember on one of the DVDs, it might have been Domination, where they did a feature on Drew Brothers. So I'm looking at this a few minutes ago. Um, I wanted to look at Oliver's feature and I had flipped to it and I'm just reminiscing going, wow, you know, Oliver's truck, so much got done to this thing. Shout out to Oliver. And um, I see Drew Brothers, and that reminded me that feature. So then I pull up Instagram real quick before I got started, and I see a post from Drew Brothers Customs that the guy's retiring. And I was like, what are the chances that I'm looking at this? I didn't say anything, so it's not like microphones picked up anything. And I was thinking about Drew Brothers Customs, and I remembered the feature, again, that I might have been on one of the domination. They were highlighting. He might have had a crew cab OBS at the time. He had a full-size truck. And then I pull up Instagram out of the blue and Drew Brothers Customs pops up as my first photo, you know, my first post uh, in my feed, and he's retiring. I'm like, what the hell? Um, meaning just weird, just weird that I'm thinking of Drew Brothers Customs and it pops up on my phone. So, yeah, the metaverse. But uh, again, Oliver's truck, insane truck, love this truck. Got a chance to see it at Showfest. Has so much work done to it. Um, I think IF worked on it a little bit, of course. And there's just so much that's went into it. So shout out to Oliver. Just a great guy. Exchanged some messages and comments here and there on Instagram. I know he's super busy. But if he happens to see this dude, tip of the cap, brother. Love the truck. And I uh, can't wait to, to get through more of these flip-throughs um, to highlight what it looks like in the future. Saw this truck at Showfast, maybe Texas Heat Wave, or maybe like front uh, tour. Super awesome. Same with this one. Saw this at Showfast. Uh, saw this Isuzu somewhere. And then this was the Ranger that we recently saw that I told you guys that was in RA Florida back in the day. So pretty cool stuff. And then boom. Jason Weiss, shout out to him. He had helped me. Um, he did a quick edit on this photo one time with making the sparks fly, uh, which was kind of a cool little edit. He's helped me a couple times, so shout out to Weiss. Um, Live Live Topless, that's my Instagram. Check that out. I always, any topless minis, I always um, tag that and hashtag Live Live Topless. You can see the doors capped, 
such a, an amazing amount of work on this thing. And you know, this is probably from the back of a pickup, maybe, or hanging out of a truck. Wes Allison the Great. Shout out to Wes. Truly, truly, truly an awesome photographer. So, with that being said, this is the 17th cover truck with Colorado Custom Wheels. Pretty awesome. Devin's truck definitely will go down as one of the, the greats. One of my favorites. What do you guys think? Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, again, emoji, even if it's just a thumbs up or whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. Issue 137, Mini Truck and Magazine, May 2003. Stay on the rise, y'all. We are cheer.